Play on X-Play. Getting hit while you're down in Virtua Quest. Flipping out at the World Cyber Games. And meeting new people and punching them online in Guilty Gear X2 Sharp Reload. Good luck. It's game time. And now, two people who concentrate because the orange juice tells them to, Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Hello, and welcome to X-Play, coming to you from our old home, San Francisco. A city so liberal that your sex change is covered, even if you just polish the railings on City Hall. But we're not here for that right now. We're here for the World Cyber Games 2004. This is where an era of pimple cream, desperation of B.O. commingle with the city's trademark fog. There's 700 people from 63 countries grinding their digits to dust in a quest for gaming glory. Yes, all the post-grads of the gaming elite are competing on six PC games, two console titles. This will be the battleground for $400,000 in prize money. And that is one fat sack of Ronald's cooking. But first, we're going back to a competitive classic that's getting a trendy new makeover. Yes, a Virtual Quest is what happens when you take Virtual Fighter and you mix it with an RPG. Ooh. Here's our preview of Virtual Quest. Did you ever have that feeling that you missed an important memo? Has a valuable tidbit to explain something ever slipped past you? Now that we played a preview version of Virtual Quest, I think I was out sick the day Sega flung this particular piece of pasta against the wall. Let's hope it turns out al dente. The driving question behind Virtual Quest is, when is a game not a game? When it's a trap. It seems that all the Virtual Fighter games were merely a ruse to capture the greatest martial artists in the world. Their moves, their mojo, their Virtua souls, if you will, were locked up by your standard issue one-size-fits-all villain. Only your young hero, Say, has the gumption to fight this villain. Why do I have to fight? Only our young hero, Say, possesses the drive to liberate these Virtua heroes. I just want to get out of here. That's the spirit! Say's big pastime is hanging out in The Nexus, an alternate virtual reality world. It's like The Matrix if the bad guys are made by play school. <laughs> Fortunately, Say's strongest asset is his solid grasp of the world around him. Huh? What? What? Huh? Uh... Um... Why? What the... What? Explore breathtaking locales to find and free your martial arts masters. When you free the virtuous souls in the cramped confines of their digital prison, they stretch their legs by beating the crap out of you. Ah! 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 Confucius say, the warrior's path is strewn with the bodies of fourth graders. Make sure you hit them while they're down, too. Ah! 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 If you prevail, you wrap up the workout with some light jazzercise, and you add a new virtual fighter move to your repertoire. The short shoulder will let you charge your foes with the strength of a buffalo. You'll fight enemies using pared down virtual fighter moves, which should be easier to learn. <laughs> Our preview version only had a few types of baddies, and no one would accuse them of being the brightest bulbs on the tree, if you know what I mean. Yeah! Hey, chump, this ain't no vaudeville act. Oh. You may also have to unleash your synapse break power on the local constabulatory. Just how many words for bullet time can the game industry come up with? Oh, yeah, you can rack up a combo or two with it as well. Virtual Quest mix of fighting action and light role-playing should come out in early 2005. And then, people are going to suffer. No, no, it'll be fine. How about it, say? I just want to get out of here! Atta boy! So, apparently, the first rule of Virtual Quest Fight Club is wait your turn. Right. We're back at the World Cyber Games, where hundreds of computers are being booted up and prepared for the sweaty hands of their competitors. They also have indie fusion dancing, BMX demos, break dancing, and games. It's all come together to form this huge demographic of... I have no idea, because it has Indian fusion dancing. Well, let's reluctantly leave the world of Indian fusion and games, enter the racing universe of Rick Wheeler and Octoman. Here's our review, F-Zero GP Legend. <laughs> F-Zero is hot right now. As one of the launch titles for the Super NES's 1991 release, F-Zero became an instant classic. Three, two, one, win! 
followed by sequels on the Nintendo 64 and GameCube. Finish! Nintendo's flagship racer is once again in the spotlight with a cartoon series on Fox. Yes, they'll show anything. And a new GBA game, F-Zero GP Legend. This time, they added a story based on characters from the animated series. Now, these people have a number of problems. She's trying to find out who killed her brother. He has a serious inferiority complex. And I think we can all tell that this guy is just evil. I don't know what Arthur has to do with any of this, but the upshot of all this blather is you have to race. Three, two, one, fire! Now don't worry, if you don't want to listen to him whine or watch her get all emotional, there's tons of other game modes. Select your mode. Like the traditional Grand Prix where you compete in a series of events. F-Zero has a reputation of being difficult, and F-Zero GP Legend is no exception. Okay, cue the music. But it does have a rather nice learning curve. So, by the time you're skidding on the ice at the spanking hard levels, you're already mildly prepared and completely hooked. Go! Wonderful! I don't know if I'd call that wonderful. The controls are generally responsive, although your vehicle has an annoying tendency to bounce wildly when you hit an obstacle. Besides acceleration and braking, you can use each shoulder button to give you extra turning power, and pressing both at once gives you a boost. Boosting drains your energy meter, as does bumping into barriers. Energy is recovered by racing over green pit areas. While the underlying gameplay of F-Zero GP Legend hasn't changed much since 1991, it's still good enough to make it one of the best racers on the GBA. F-Zero GP Legend gets a 4 out of 5. F-Zero GP Legend has all the horsepower you'd expect from its big brother under its tiny little GBA hood. Now, speaking of horsepower, we're here in the automotive section of the World Cyber Games, and it's... Man, I... I just, like, smell fumes or something. I think that's the make your own burrito bar. Oh, okay. Yeah. Anyway, the cyber game of choice here is Need for Speed Underground 2 and Project Gotham Racing. And at the checkered flag, there's a pot of gold. No, I smell gas. It's the chili, dude. Someone polluted. Coming up, the iToy is back in Sega Superstars. We're sorry. Brought to you by the United States Air Force. Cross into the blue. You want that apple? No. no it's Can I have life. those? Sure. Thanks. Here you go, man. Thanks. You're welcome. First there was pizza, and it was good. Then there was something entirely different. The new Double Melt Pizza from Domino's. Layer upon layer of cheese and Excuse crust. Excuse me, do we have to do this every time we order? Why not? Domino's new Double Melt Pizza. Layer upon layer of flavor. With a creamy blend of cheeses and herbs between two thin crusts. Buy your medium one topping Double Melt Pizza for $9.99 and get any second medium for just $5 more. Get the door. It's Domino's new Double Melt Pizza. Yeah! Get some! Ah! No! Oh! oh, God! Damn it! Feel the power of the new Nokia N-Gage QD from Singular. Insane graphics and the latest titles. Get yours at Singular Wireless, rated T for teens. I put a spell on you. Because you're mine. I put a spell on you. <laughs> What's up? Because you're mine. 
Welcome to the Digital Animation and Visual Effects School. Welcome to the Dave School. Located on the back lot of Universal Studios Orlando, the Dave School offers an intensive one-year degree program in computer animation. Whether it's a stampeding T-Rex or an alien invasion, computers are pushing the boundaries of imagination. At the Dave School, you'll master this new technology to begin your career in computer animation. To get your free DVD, visit daveschool.com. Our next class begins January 3rd. Tomorrow on the G-Spot. Cinematech turns up the heat as playmate Deanna Brooks <laughs> takes us deep inside. Playboy, the mansion. Your dreams just came true. And chimes in on the most sultry cinemas. How'd you like that, team? It's skin to win, baby. Find the G-Spot every weeknight starting at 10. <laughs> Welcome back to X-Play here at the World Cyber Games 2004, where the demonic screams of delight are slowly strangling the agonizing groans of defeat, all against a soundtrack of quiet touch keyboards. Now, concentration is key here, and we've been told not to get too close or to feed or disturb the gaming wildlife. It's kind of like a zoo. A really fun kind of zoo, where they like to play games and stuff. Yeah. You know, we have a game with animals. We do? Yeah. Is it like a petting zoo where you can interact with them? Yeah, kind of. It's like if you take your favorite Sega characters and you mix them with the interactivity of the iToy. So, let's take a look at Sega's superstars for the iToy. So, you pointed more times than Weathervane and fought off more ninja assassins than Uma Thurman. But there haven't been a whole lot of reasons to dust off your iToy lately, have there? Is it the next Game Boy printer? Boy, we hope not. Take the paper. in there. Hold up like that. Take the... Fear not, iToy owners, as Sega superstars are spinning, Go! soaring, and shaking their way to a PS2 near you. It's a collection of 12 mini games featuring some of Sega's biggest and quirkiest franchises. You get Sonic the Hedgehog. Don't hurt my hedgehog. Samba de Amigo. Billy Hatcher. Billy, Billy, don't you lose my number. That you do, because this game sucks. Night. I'm flying. Hi. And much more. But not all of the games are standouts, especially this one, which has you literally standing out in the street trying to hail a cab. Ah, right, 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 here, here. Ah. But the good ones managed to show off some new ideas for the eye toy. The Sonic, Super Monkey Ball, Nice, and Samba de Amigo games are all on point. Once you get used to the controls, you won't want to experience a flying game or a monkey rolling around in a plastic ball game ever again without the eye toy. These games work because they effectively remove all barriers between you and the character. Oh, I'm gonna get to the freaking place! Damn it! The rest of the games borrow way too heavily from the very first eye toy game, Play. There's a fighting game based on Virtual Fighter. Hmm, looks familiar. There's a hit everything that moves game. Yep, played that one before. A dancing game. Oh, never done that before. And a soccer game. Good. Is it really that difficult to think of new ideas for this thing? Josh, come on, take a paper. Take, take the fucking paper! The cab hailing game forces you to flap your arms and yell. It's tiring, ridiculous, and utterly pointless. Yep. Playing most of these games make you look like a complete jackass. But the biggest problem with Sega Superstars is that the majority of the games are over too quickly. Just when you get started, they end. And it's back to navigating the irritating menus. That said, Sega Superstars is still easily the best iToy game yet released. We give it a three out of five. Print time! I feel like Sonic's therapist guiding him around like that. Virtual Fighters hit me hard in the head. Yeah. It's X-Play at the World Cyber Games, and we're here in the FIFA soccer section. Now, as you can imagine, this competition attracts a lot of gamers from outside the U.S. It's, come on, like the biggest soccer star in the U.S. is Randy Chastain. What's wrong with that? Well, isn't she the one who takes her shirt off after she scores? Right. What? Oh. Up next, most unnecessarily long game title ever, Guilty Gear X2 Sharp Reload.
Lance SP, now only $79.99. I wanted my own reliable web server, and I didn't want to pay too much. I got it at Server Beach. Dedicated servers, only $99 a month. At Server Beach, I get a dedicated Windows or Linux server on a Cisco network with no setup fee and all the bandwidth I need. Total control is mine. Quality hardware, solid network, great price, all from a company that knows what they're doing. Want a web server? For only $99 a month, go to Server Beach. He's here, baby. Robo Sapien is the first humanoid robot with 67 functions and four programming modes. Program a combination of moves, and Robo Sapien's interactive reflex system makes him spring to life with plenty of attitude. Robo Sapien, batteries not included from Wowee. I'm Stanley Johnson. I've got a great family. I've got a four bedroom house and a great community. Like my car? It's new. I even belong to the local golf club. How do I do it? I'm in debt up to my eyeballs. I can barely pay my finance charges. Need a smart way to handle your debt? At LendingTree.com, you can lower your monthly payments by using the equity in your home with either a home equity loan or by refinancing your mortgage. Call 1-800-555-TREE now. Somebody help me. Come to LendingTree.com, where you can have banks compete over you regardless of your credit history, and you choose the loan that's right for you. When banks compete, you win at LendingTree.com. Why should you switch to DirecTV today? I was really sick of the way my cable company was treating us. We didn't know we had options, so we did nothing for years. Then I got DirecTV. I had digital cable and it was crazy. Only some of the channels were actually digital. With DirecTV service, 100% of the channels are digital. I got my entire DirecTV system for free. It was installed for free and I even got a free DVD player. I didn't have to buy a thing. Have you looked at your cable bill lately? I did. I was paying way too much. With DirecTV, I pay under $40 a month and I get 125 channels, including my locals. It's better picture, better sound, more channels, and more reliable. It's free installation. And it was cheaper than cable. You don't have to settle. Get it direct. Get free installation and free equipment for up to three rooms through this special television offer. Plus, while supplies last, you'll receive a DVD player free just for subscribing. Pick up the phone and schedule your installation today. Just pick up the phone and do it. You found the G-Spot. I'm screwed with Martin Sargent's next. <laughs> Play here at the World Cyber Games 2004. Now here they actually have a medal system yeah. in place. It's very much like the Olympics. It doesn't have all that kind of glory and sheen. You know, Korea and Germany have really led the world in accumulation of medals. The best the United States ever did was third in total medals in 2001. Yeah, go U.S. The games that they play here, they're, it's not just action shooters. They also have sports games, there's racing games, and the real-time strategy game. I think the real strategy around here is managing bathroom breaks, junk food stops, and the competition all together. The other idea I have is they should take one of those energy drinks that says, like, Armageddon on it, and they should just put it in there where your heart used to be so you'd be more... Energy. It's nerve damage, the real winner here at the World Cyber Games. Speaking of nerve damage, you're going to experience a lot of it when you play Guilty Gear X2 Reload. Because it's taking the original fighter, and now it's moving it out there into the, the uber world of Xbox Live. Here's our review of Guilty Gear X2 Reload. Here to begin the deluge of online Xbox fighting games is Guilty Gear X2 Sharp Reload. The hard rock and 2D skull cruncher that appeals to the anime fetishist in well, a very specific segment of the gaming population. This version is about 99% similar to the PS2 edition that came out over a year ago. But it's different because now, instead of being called Guilty Gear X2 Reload, it's called Guilty Gear X2 Sharp Reload. If that's supposed to indicate something beyond the fact that fighting game sequels seem to be named by throwing a handful of magnetic poetry at a refrigerator door, I don't know what it is. In the future, biological weapons called Gears have arisen and tend to get together and beat the hell out of one another on a regular basis. If you want to know more, the extensive story mode will help you out with its 61 endings and mind-bendingly weird dialogue. 
May isn't very sensitive to the feelings of the follically impaired. <laughs> Then there's Bridget, who is a boy. No, seriously, he's something of a method actor. If you'd rather not sit through dozens of surreal dialogue snippets, you can complete missions to unlock new versions of characters, earn medals in medal mode, or go straight for the main course, the online play. The hallmark of the Guilty Gear series is fast and furious action to a heavy metal beat, and sharp reload doesn't disappoint. From the instant kill destruction moves, to the guitar-wielding chick with the talking hat, everything is over the top and sports silky smooth animation. If you can find someone with a decent network speed, unless both players are on blazingly fast connections, matches will slow down to the point that it's like playing in a big 2D animated tub of syrup. As delicious as that may sound, it can make for some lopsided fights. <laughs> When it does work well, the online play is smooth like butter. And when it doesn't, it's still playable. You just have to think a few more seconds ahead than usual. The sound is better, the graphics are smoother, a few characters have been altered for gameplay balance, and you can compete online via Xbox Live. Otherwise, it is as it was. If you've never played a Guilty Gear before, you're in for a treat. A four out of five. That was nice. I like the background. Yes, the ability to engage in the arcade experience online alleviates the need for quarters and improves upon the typical atmospheric expectations one has of the CD gaming parlors. Yes. No, no, I'll play you, odious wench. Sour grapes make for fine wine. Up next, find out what lies beyond the game when X-Play returns. Yeah, it might be nerds. <laughs> At CDW, we ship over 100,000 IT products to customers every day. So how can we do it even faster? One word, wormholes. I think it could really change things. It could take our shipping system to a whole new level. Now I just need to figure out the whole space-time continuum thing. For the top brand IT products you need shipped out fast, count on CDW for the right technology right away. Unleash the power of a worldwide phenomenon. Welcome back, Dr. Jackson. Packed with all new extras. Stargate SG-1 Season 7 on DVD October 19th. Own the entire collection on DVD now. It will summon you. It will challenge you. It will consume you. Mortal Kombat Deception. Online for PlayStation 2 and Xbox. Rated Mature. You can handle a long, hard day, but can your deodorant? Yeah, it's Arm & Hammer Ultramax with our clean feel formula for 24-hour protection. All day, all night, guaranteed. Ultramax deodorant, 24 hours of clean. Two letters, TV. Simple, right? Except these days there's HDTV, EDTV. We could get an LCD TV. If we don't get help, we'll end up with NOTV. I guess you're just what I need. At CircuitCity.com, you can research all the hot new products, compare ratings, even buy online. Plus find a huge selection of all the top brands every day. Circuit City. You found the G-Spot. Unscrewed with Martin Sargent is coming up next. Get ready for the Digital Digs Dash. Starting November 8th, we're giving away four $25,000 shopping sprees. Go to G4TechTV.com to find out more. Digital Digs Dash, brought to you by Circuit City. Welcome back, 
2X play. The World Cyber Games are a global gathering of gaming gladiators from over 63 countries brought together by common interests and accolades and cash. They even have their own Eye of the Tiger-like soundtrack, which raises the currency of the average gamer to a keyboard-pounding warrior. So let's check out the killing floor of these warriors' themes to that very soundtrack. This is the first year the games have been held in the United States. And why not pick the best looking city that comes with the best looking damn mayor in the world? San Francisco and Gavin Newsom. Now, uh, was, was, was it your plan? Did you look at San Francisco when you came into the office and said, hey, all the gamers need to come here and play? Well, we, 18 months ago we started. We went out to Korea to make the case with our sister city relationship we had in Seoul to make the case for San Francisco to be the first place they go outside of Korea for these World Cyber Games. Now, if, if there was to be a politically themed game, you know, how, 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 like, what, what would kind of be the angle that, that, that you would want it to take? Well, obviously, it would be a violent game. <laughs> I think my favorite game when I was in there was Halo. It looked like just a mess. And I enjoyed that one personally the most. Not all the parents agree with me. We're wondering if this could be the inauguration, maybe same nerd marriages here. <laughs> Save nerd marriages? Yeah. You know, people talked about what's next? You know, dogs marrying cats, trees marrying fire hydrants. Why not next? Same nerd marriage. All right, hey, I'm, I'm for what you're for. The grounds are a virtual Neverland Ranch full of activities with demonstrations, Indian fusion bands, and of course, the trapeze. What gaming event wouldn't be complete without the trapeze? Morgan, what are you doing on the trapeze? Dignitary celebrities, illuminated nobodies, bands, and dancers with bellies. All here to celebrate the prowess of the internationally represented teams of gaming warriors. Beyond the game. We're here at Creative where Adam is taking on Fatality, the number one gamer in the world. <laughs> That sucked. Beyond the game. Beyond the game. At last, the moment's at hand. This year's games yielded some upsets. In a closed contest, America's Counter-Strike team beat out Denmark for gold. That's right! This year, the Netherlands came out on top, winning three gold medals, including one in Unreal Tournament. The Koreans take second, with six overall medals and two gold. Team United States posted a respectable third with three medals, two of which were gold. The nationalism, pageantry, and pudgy fingers of international gaming brings people together to convey the ease of which global gripes can be banished. Beyond the game. Well, that's it for X Play at the World Cyber Games. Yes, yeah, the winners are currently celebrating, and the losers, they're shuffling towards the door. We've seen EU hobbled economies rise to the former glory of empire and the common continent of video games. Now, we've learned that it's not the size of your country or the size of your gamer, it's just about coming together and playing. It's not about how many gold or silver medals you bring home. No, and it's not about whether or not we're ever going to be invited back after this episode. No. It's about what we're going to do tonight. I love San Francisco. I feel like something decadent. I'm going to do something really exciting. I'm yeah. going to be going to some dark rays, bondage, and I'm going to be buying all these designer hats. Oh, yeah. I'm going to get designer good. hats. Hey. Oh, oh, wait. There's there's our ride. Mom, mom, mom. Oh, mom. Oh, no, mom. mom. No. Wow, Adam and Moran have parents. What? Play, win, hyperactive! We have a new online game everyone is talking about. Every weeknight, while you watch X-Play and Unscrewed with Martin Sargent, go online and play hyperactive along with the shows. You can win an iPod Mini and other cool stuff. Many of you will be playing for months to come. For rules and details, go to g4techtv.com slash hyperactive and play along with X-Play and Unscrewed every weeknight starting at 11 Eastern, 8 Pacific. You found the G-Spot. I'm screwed with Martin Sargent's next. <laughs>